Yaakov Avinu dresses up as Esav and he goes to his father Yitzhak to receive the brachos. Bemirma, that is what the Torah says. If Samson Mephal Hirsch, the beautiful interpretation of what happened there behind the scenes explains what was Rivka's intention. Did she really want to transfer the bracha to Esav, the beloved son of Yitzhak, to Yaakov? Did she really think she will succeed? And if a bracha of a father is so powerful, is it really successful, powerful, effective, if it is taken out deceitfully? How can she believe that she'll be able to fool Hashem, who was watching everything? So what exactly was he trying to do? Getting dressed up as Asaph, putting the, putting the hide on his neck and on his arm. Who will be fooled by this? It must be that Rivka actually wanted that this will be revealed. That is what she always wanted. There was an argument between Yitzhak and Rivka. How to address Esau. The two boys were fundamentally different. Esau represented the Gashmius. Yaakov represents the Ruchnius. And Yitzhak knew that the nation would need both, both directions, both angles. And he thought that together, out of completing each other, there will be the dynasty of Avraham Avinu, they will be able to continue to walk in his footsteps. Therefore, he prepared for Asa, a Gashmius blessing, and a spiritual one for Yaakov. However, Rivka knew from the house of Lavan how devastating this split can be. She knew from her experience that Gashmius can only be for a blessing for Yeshua in a house that has the spirit of Avom. Only in the hands of a person that Avom's spirit guides, he will be able to use correctly the Gashmius. And without that, in the wrong house, this will be a curse. Therefore, Rivka knew that the blessing can only come to one, both the spiritual and the Gashmi one. And that was the essence of the argument between them. Rivka anticipated that when Yitzhak will find out that he was fooled by someone dressing up, even Yaakov, a person who sits in Besamedesh, was able to appear as if he is a man of the field, a hunter. Then Yitzhak will realize and will agree with her that you cannot be fooled by the external appearance of Esav. You can only go after the interiority. Yitzhak admitted, Gam Yes, he should be blessed. Yaakov, now that he found out that it was became clear to him that in the house of Avraham, everything has to come from the spirit of Avraham, and therefore he did not see any more room for Esau to stay in the house of Avraham.